and girls, and welcome to Magical Bedtime Stories, sponsored by Barberton City Schools Curriculum Department. My name is Mrs. Littlejohn, and I'm the technology teacher at Barberton Elementary West. I love to read, and I have a story I would like to share with you this evening, and it is called Once Upon a Time Online. It's a story with some characters that you might recognize from other books, and it tells a story about how they learn to be safe online. My story is written and illustrated by David Bedford and Rosie Reeve. So let's get started. Once upon a time, not long ago, a boy named Jack watched a beanstalk grow. He started to climb it, but from somewhere up high, a tightly wrapped parcel fell from the sky. It's a present, thought Jack. He untied the string and inside discovered a flat, shiny thing. What are you, Jack asked, and what do you do? He ran off to look for someone who knew. He found Cinderella with a bucket and mop. I know, she declared. It's called a laptop. Cinders threw down her mop, and before Jack could stop her, she became the first fairy tale online shopper. It can do lots of stuff, but the best thing of all, with this laptop's help, I shall go to the ball. Then Little Red Riding Hood peeped round the door. I've outgrown my cloak. I could do with some more. She sat down and ordered two red cloaks with hoods and a phone just in case she got lost in the woods. Soon Rapunzel swept in with her hair piled high and exclaimed, there is something I just have to buy. The three little pigs dropped in looking for sticks and quickly bought straw and a truckload of bricks. Then the big bad wolf with a huge huff and a puff pushed his way in and said, that's enough. We've all had, you've all had a turn. Now the laptop's all mine and I'm going to use it for gaming online. Early next morning, Hooray, they all cheered when all of the things they had ordered appeared. Cinderella got ready and went to the ball without needing her fairy godmother at all. With the help of her phone and a clever new app, Red Riding Hood set out to follow a map. The little pig's houses were built on the double. Wolf was too busy gaming to cause any trouble. And Rapunzel didn't have to let down her hair. She just turned on her tablet and the prince was right there. So they all lived happily ever after until Cinderella was given a very long bill. Then the three pigs got bored and started complaining that life was too dull when the wolf was just gaming. And Red Riding Hood, busy watching her screen, walked into some brambles that she should have seen. Help, cried Rapunzel from up in her tower. My tablet's not worked for over an hour. And the big bad wolf didn't know what to do when the giant wanted to play on the laptop too. Ha, huh, I wish we'd never even seen a laptop. Someone please, please make it all stop. Suddenly, ping, out of thin air, Cinderella's own fairy godmother was there. Don't worry, she said, all will be fine, but you must ask a grown-up before going online. With a wave of her wand, the bill went away. Fairy godmothers are allowed to use magic to pay. Now, children, she said, you've only begun to discover online. Time to have fun. She showed Rapunzel new styles for her hair. and taught the wolf that it's good to share. Wolf said, I guess gaming together is fun, even though Little Red Riding Hood won. While Jack and the Giant worked on two screens to make a home movie called Our Magic Beans. Now when going online for something or other, everyone checks first with the fairy godmother. The fairy tale folk are all feeling just fine living happily ever after online. I hope you enjoyed that story. They learned a very important lesson to always ask a grown up before going online. 
Please tune in next week for another magical bedtime story. Good night.